Virginia Beach police arrested two people, including a juvenile, in connection to a homicide investigation. It started as a car crash. It happened earlier this month in the Witch Duck area. To on your side's Julie Malay shows us the effect, the ripple effect that this has caused for those involved, plus the latest on the investigation. Julie? Steph, the tragedy affected two families, the family who lived in the home that that car ran into and the family of the man who died inside that car. It happened on January 11th. That's when police tell us they initially were on scene to respond to a call about a car into a home on Featherstone Court. But when they tried to help the driver inside that car, they made a startling discovery. It looked like the driver had been shot before the crash happened. And that's when this turned into a homicide investigation. While they were working to help identify or help the driver who was identified as 33-year-old Gregory Smith, the car caught on fire, which then set that home on fire. Laquan Coleman lived inside that home. She wasn't there at the time, but says she lost almost everything, including the urn which held her son's ashes. He died two years ago. I'm brokenhearted as well because someone's child that's closer to my son's age passed away in their house in a car, you know, and it's just like my son being dead again, you know, because of what happened. Police tell me there may be a third person arrested in connection with this case. We also learned more today about the driver who was killed. We'll have that and more on the investigation into his death coming up on Wavy News 10 at 530. For now in the newsroom, I'm Julie Malay. 10 on your side.